Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's a sharp-tailed snake. How freaking cool. God, how freaking cool. I haven't seen one of these in years. Wow, in situ. Freaking cool, man. I tell you, it's gotta be one of Oregon's smallest snakes. Absolutely splendid. Beautiful, beautiful animal. Look at you. Oh, you beautiful fellow or girl, or whatever. God, look at that tiny, tiny snake. Look how small its, its head is compared to my finger. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely, I cannot believe we found a snake. Way cool. So today is a, a beautiful day and it's only about 70 degrees outside. I did not expect to find this animal. This is fantastic. This is uh, Oregon's sharp-tailed snake, right? It's a fairly small snake and uh, you can find these things from California all the way up to British Columbia. Um, and they're just stunning animals and they're called sharp-tailed snakes because the tip of their tail has a pointy protrusion from it, right? And it's uh, it can like poke into you, but it doesn't cause any harm to you at all. And these guys are just so small. Um, they eat slugs and slug eggs is what they mostly eat, right? And full grown, these things only get about eh, 12 to 18 inches long. So this is not a hatchling but it's definitely not an adult. It's got, looks like it's got some sort of damage on its um, scales there. I'm not sure what happened there, but just a small, beautiful little animal. And that tiny little head, you don't see these animals out too often. They're pretty seclusive. Oh, oh. Right, but when you do, boy, you just take the chance to admire them. Such beautiful animals. All right, it's a, it's a color bred, a native to the US, all right, and they're just specialized eaters, right? Because, you know, you see how small their head is, right? So you can't exactly eat a whole lot of things, tiny things for sure, but slugs and their eggs, slug eggs, right? Just kind of goes to show you that, that every animal on this planet has a purpose. It has its own little niche in our world. And this is no exception. Fantastic. Now, I will admit that this is not the most stunning example of uh, sharp-tailed snakes that we have around here. It is pretty, but 
we have other ones in the same area that have uh, different colored kind of striping down the side. And this one kind of does, but it's just kind of hard to see right there next to my thumb. But still, just a beautiful animal. Look at that little thing. Golly, its, it's head is so small, it's hard to even zoom in on it. <laughs> very cool, very cool little animal. All right, so we uh, we found this guy underneath this little log right here. All right, so we're gonna roll this log back over exactly how it was. All right, and we're not gonna take up too much of this guy's time anymore. We're gonna let him go exactly where we found him and wish him the best of luck. I hope you have a great summer and make more. Man, I hope you guys enjoyed that snake just as much as I did. That is uh, only the second snake of the season. We're still very early into the season. And I know, I know we're gonna find some really, really cool stuff this summer. We got a lot of snakes around here, a lot of different species, a couple of which that I've had ever actually caught. Um, I've seen pictures of you, know, like the mountain king snake, but uh, we're gonna catch some more this summer. So if you liked that video, hit that like and subscribe button, leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Thank you, have a good day. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away